Hello everyone, today we're going to discuss the reinvestment trends of European companies operating in mainland China for their 2023 profits. We'll look at how much these companies are planning to reinvest and how these plans compare to their historical averages. Understanding these trends is crucial for gaining insights into the current business climate and the strategic decisions companies are making. Let's start with the left chart, the percentage of profits companies plan to reinvest in mainland China. The data reveals some interesting patterns. First, 18% of companies plan to reinvest more than 25% of their profits, showing a strong commitment to their operations in China. On the other hand, 7% will reinvest 16 to 25% of their profits, and 10% plan to reinvest 11 to 15%. Moving down the scale, 22% are looking to reinvest 5 to 10%, while 18% will reinvest less than 5%. It's also noteworthy that 14% report they're not profitable in China, and 12% don't plan to reinvest at all. This means that a significant portion, about 40%, are planning to reinvest only 10% or less of their profits. This cautious approach suggests some hesitation among these companies about their future prospects in the Chinese market. Now, let's move on to the right chart, and compare these reinvestment plans to the historical averages. The data shows that 5% of companies plan to reinvest significantly more than usual, while 15% will reinvest somewhat more. Meanwhile, 44% are keeping their reinvestment about the same, indicating a steady approach. However, 16% plan to reinvest somewhat less, and 19% will reinvest significantly less. While 20% of companies are looking to increase their reinvestment, a notable 35% are planning to cut back. This mixed outlook reflects varying levels of confidence and strategic priorities among these businesses. So, what could be driving these trends? There are several possible reasons. Firstly, economic uncertainty both globally and locally might make companies more cautious. This uncertainty can lead businesses to consolidate their current operations rather than expand. Secondly, companies might be focusing on strategic shifts, such as improving efficiency or exploring new markets, rather than reinvesting heavily in China. Additionally, profitability concerns play a significant role, with 14% of companies reporting they're not profitable in China, it's understandable that reinvestment levels might be lower. Finally, companies might see better opportunities elsewhere and choose to allocate their resources outside China. These factors together paint a picture of a cautious but strategically thoughtful approach to reinvestment. In conclusion, the data shows a cautious reinvestment strategy among many European companies operating in mainland China. This could be due to various factors, including economic uncertainty and strategic business decisions. Some companies remain confident and are increasing their investments, but a significant portion are either scaling back or holding steady, reflecting a cautious approach to the market. As we move forward, it will be interesting to see how these trends evolve and what they mean for the business landscape in China.